Adam Cavalier alongside head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson here on the Domino's post game report. Chuck uh, built a big lead. Uh, that's typical against Newberry. The Wolves also capable of erasing big leads. They did that. Yeah. Uh, and when it came down to winning time, your team delivered break down that final yeah. four minutes where you make seven straight shots to close. Yeah. Well, I thought I, I think we we did we, we kept our poise. Uh, we didn't we didn't lose poise. Uh, we stayed focused on, on, on getting uh, the shots we wanted, which were a higher percentage going to the basket. And then, of course, I sort of thought that the, the, the biggest shot and told the team downstairs, the, the three by Malik there in front of the bench when it was, I don't know, a, a four-point four game. game, yeah. And, uh, and he jumped there and made that. Uh, Grant trusted him. Uh, gave the, I think it was Grant gave the ball up. He nailed it. And, and that sort of, I think that right there was sort of like the, the punch that did it. <clears throat> You look at this game, you share the ball really well. 33 assists, second most in a single game in school history, and you only turn the ball over once after halftime yeah. against a Newberry team that's known for that. What can you say about the way that you uh, team Again, the I thought our guys showed great poise. Showed great poise, took care of the basketball, were really intentional about their passes, were really intentional about their catches, took nothing for granted. Uh, I, I, that, I just bragged to them uh, to, on, on another level about, about that and their ability to uh, – to, to have that, what is it, three, three to one just turn ratio. So, I mean, I couldn't be more pleased with that. 27-point uh, lead in the first half. Newberry cuts it to 18 at the break uh, and get as close as four yeah. in the second half. Uh, what's your reaction to building the big lead and then Abso Newberry ab Absolutely nothing because that's what happens. I mean, absolutely no. I told our guys there's never a lead big enough and there's never a deficit too, too large. What was it? Tw down twenty? When we were down down twenty four or seven or something at their place. Twenty one. We twenty one. Largest comeback in school history. So I mean, Zach that's what I'm Pangalo saying. Like, game. With 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 this opponent, they're never going to stop. They don't even think about the scoreboard. They just they're going to play the way they play for forty minutes. And uh, you know, I I'll, I'll put like this: Had we taken that twenty whatever twenty seven point lead and doubled it to fifty four the second half. There'd been nobody more surprised than me, <laughs> not not because of anything we did, because I just know how how Newberry plays, yeah. and so yeah, I, I, I'm not displeased, disappointed in anything. I, I'm more more excited for our guys showing the poise to to finish the thing out the right way. Did something <laughs> today that has never been done in the history of the men's basketball program. Attempted 46 threes. That's a new school record. Uh, 18 makes, second most in school history. Yeah. Uh, how did that factor into the game plan, the three point uh, marksmanship? Well, I'm, I mean, obviously, what do we shoot? Uh, 39 on, on 46 attempts. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. And our guys, um, they were they were moving the ball and taking open shots. I mean, if you really look at it, if that 46, I would I would think 40, 43 probably were, were truly clean looks. Uh, and so we told our guys, we we're, you're going to get you're going to get some looks. Take them with confidence, and they took them with confidence. Newberry's Marshall Lang <laughs> finishes with 30 points. 15 of 16 from the line. That seemed to be what worked it back in yeah. their favor in the, the first half. What adjustments did you make uh, to take them off the charity stripe in, in the second half? We just tried to talk more about body control. Uh, that they were just put, we, we were trying to defend the three-point line, and, and uh, they took advantage of going downhill on us towards the basket. We, we, we played one possession of zone trying to maybe protect the rim, and, and that, that, <laughs> that, that allowed a, a three – uh, an uncontested three in the corner. So we just stayed with our man uh, and tried to live with twos, tried to keep them off the line and really uh, limit threes. And, and of course, the, again, the fouling the second half um, went down because I think our body control uh, increased. <clears throat> Grant Teichman, 26 points, six assists, three rebounds. Uh, again, your senior, fourth time in his career where he scored 26. Uh, what about the effort that he had, especially after getting into the foul trouble in the first half? Yeah, well, I, you know, um, I'm, I, there's nothing Grant will ever do here that will surprise me because he just he's a good, good, good basketball player. Uh, and, and, and we needed him to perform like that, especially down the stretch. I thought he had some critical baskets and critical ball control decisions. Uh, uh, I told our staff before the game, I said, this is a game where uh, – I told Dave Gorman, I said, this is a game where we, we, we can get uh, four guys in double digits. Little did I know there would be six guys in double digits. Uh, but I'm pleased with that. that. That does nothing but build some confidence in our guys as we move forward. And, and uh, you know, you look in there and uh, Luke Brennigan, freshman, gets 24 minutes and shoots the ball well. Six, one, I mean, it, several guys played well. So uh, 
it was a good 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 day for for Carson in basketball. No Mason Bates <clears throat> today, and you, you mentioned you needed guys to step up. Luke Brennigan matches a career high 14 points, new career highs for rebounds five, assists six. Brendan Coleman, a new career high, first career day in double figures with 10 points, new career high for rebounds with eight. Uh, how pleased are you with the way that guys like that, a uh, Blake Irvin, new career high with nine, uh, just misses. If he makes a free throw, you've got yeah. seven in double figures. How pleased are you with that trio of guys to step up and deliver some stuff that they hadn't done yet right. this year? Well, we need that. I mean, especially with Mason being out, we need more guys that are threatening uh, on the offensive end. And, uh, you know, um, I think guys are getting more experience and, 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 and more uh, more confidence. And, and now as we start the second journey through conference play, more so than ever, we need it. Turn your attention. Quick turnaround. Yep. Uh, random Monday non-conference game against Johnson C. Smith two days from now. Yep. Uh, how do you take this one for a meeting with the Bulls trying to win back-to-back games against Johnson C. Smith for uh, the first time ever in series history? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, we have a 48-hour turnaround. They have a 48-hour turnaround. They're playing today as well. Um, we, uh, we're we going to be extra motivated. We've In my tenure here, we've never beaten them here at home. We've beaten Correct. them there. Uh, we, they, we've year. not won here. So there's a lot of reasons why we are motivated to, to perform on a high level. Uh, that'll be a, that'll continue to be a focal point uh, as we as we move towards Monday. But uh, this is our last non-conference game. Uh, we, we're 7-0 we're and 0 in non-conference games this year. We, we really want to finish that out the right way. So I've got all kinds of motivators. And, and then, of course, after, after Monday, um, we, 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 we got till, till Saturday. We'll, we'll have a couple of down days to get, to get healthy and fresh. And then, then we start preparing for that, 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 that um, you know, long journey uh, of conference play. Chuck, pleasure as always. Congrats on a 112-105 win over the Wolves. Thanks, Kev. That's Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach, Chuck Benson.